This morning, a coalition of environmentalists, public health campaigners, and progressive advocacy organizations issued a warning to Schumer and to Nancy Pelosi, urging them to keep out Joe Manchin's dirty deal in the military spending bill this month. The letter was signed by more than 750 groups. And we're scrolling those groups right now, 750 of them. Yeah, they're there saying, do not let this man, do not let him put his nonsense, his foolishness and mayhem, to quote one of my friends, in this legislation. Don't let him do it. But remember, Manchin was originally stopped, but he is at it again. So he kept out a must pass stoppage funding bill. In September, the permitting reform package is the darling of Senator Joe Manchin, who has tried to force the proposal through on several occasions as part of his agreement earlier this year to support the Watered Down Inflation Reduction Act. And it was watered down indeed that passed both chambers of Congress and was and was signed into law by President Joe Biden. That is coming from reporting from Common Dreams. Thank you, John, so much. Now, but now. He is trying to sneak this back in because he's sneaky like that. Since its earlier defeats, Manchin now wants to use the National Defense Authorization Act to force it through, despite widespread opposition from experts, critics, most members of his own Democratic Party, and outside campaigners. It's debatable whether most of his, the members of his own Democratic Party, I don't know, friend. I see you shaking your head, so just jump in. I mean, I don't even understand why this is still a conversation. And I hope no Democrat is entertaining actually adding this in. They do not owe Joe Manchin anything. Um, They successfully kept this out of the IRA legislation. And so it's done. It's a done deal, bro. Like you lost on this. And I just, I'm, I'm so wary of people like Chuck Schumer and wondering like what did he promise Manchin down the line? How did they, you know, uh re- like get him to go along? Did they did they promise him something else even though this wasn't included? And again, this is all making it easier for fossil fuel projects to go through to make it easier for companies to have like you know, uh, uh just green light all their exploitation, their projects, right? Well, the reality is, is that they already have gas leases ready to go, natural gas and oil leases ready to go right now. And they're not moving forward on them. Why? Oh, because scarcity helps their bottom line. If they don't drill more, right, then they have, they can charge more at the pump. We understand that this is how it's working. And Joe Biden's even called them out on it. I mean, very, very lightly and after a while. Yeah. But he's called them out. Now I'll say I'm happy they're leaving the oil in the ground, but it's not. None of it actually is because they care about consumers. None of it's because, of course, they don't care about the environment. But like, what are we talking about? Why? Why do these companies need even more of an ease to pass to to get like licenses? The reality is, it's just Joe Manchin. Like, it's just his friends. It's just him and his friends and oil companies who pay him. And by the way, tomorrow is Tuesday. This is the runoff between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. And my God, can we render Joe Manchin impotent in the Senate by voting reelecting Warnock? Hello, somebody on that, please. Yeah, let's do exactly that. I just wonder what Manchin has on these people. Maybe he has a Hoover list. Cause you know, Jay right? moved up a list on folks and he threatened them and bend them to his will. Manchin has got to have something on these people because they keep entertaining him. I used to call him the shadow president, but hell, he just flat out the president of the United States of America, the way he flexes and gets his way. And that's why progressives need to flex too right now and get their way and go ahead and put that sick time. Put that in there since Joe Manchin has the pure unadulterated gall to bring this back up. Y'all need to go ahead and put that sick leave in that bill and hold out for the the rail workers, come on, do that. Now this has outraged environmentalists and climate campaigners, quoting Manchin's dirty deal is just as toxic and dangerous as before. The obvious uh, fossil fuel giveaway would devastate communities and set back efforts to avoid a climate catastrophe, especially after the administration's support of phasing down fossil fuels at the global climate conference. President Biden and Congress have to stop pandering, hello, 
to one senator's climate killing agenda and reject any attempt to tackle this position, this poison pill to must pass legislation. Again, the brother, he got something on them. President uh, Joe Manchin got something on the rest of these folks. Mm -hmm. Let's put this up, a reminder that Joe Manchin's home state leads in child poverty. So the man could be fighting like hell to end child poverty, but instead he's fighting like hell for his owner donors. That is exactly what this brother is doing and he has no fear of doing it.